Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. I thought today I would do something slightly different to what I've done recently because my whole channel in the last I would say month has basically been revolved around the house move. <laughs> it has been moving vlogs, more moving vlogs, um, house tours, things that I've done in the house, projects that are going on in the house. Um, and I'm really, really glad that you've all been enjoying it. And I'm so pleased that you're enjoying kind of following along on our house journey. Today's video is still gonna be very much home related, but I thought I would mix it up a little bit and do a good old haul because we are long overdue a house haul. Can you actually believe I am wearing my cardigan? The sun has gone away, which I'm kind of in two minds about. Now, I do love when the sun is out. I love it when it's sunny. It lifts my mood. It makes me feel happy. It's bright outside. Everything looks beautiful. The flowers grow. Um, however, if you're new here, you may not know, but I am an October baby and I very much live. <laughs> I very much live for that season. I am all about autumn. I mean, spring and autumn, I would say are my two favourite seasons. I love kind of the transition seasons, but autumn especially is just where I'm at my happiest. I love all things cosy, all things comfy. Speaking of the A word, I will be honest, a few of the bits that I've picked up in today's haul are autumn related. And my reason for that is number one, because I love autumn and because I get very excited. But also a lot of you will be saying, oh my gosh, Lindsay, it's literally the 1st of July or by the time you're watching this, I think it will be like the 7th or the 8th of July. You'll be like, Lindsay, this is way too early. Please don't throw autumn in our faces. <laughs> but we all know that in certain shops, seasonal decor sells out very, very, very very quickly and if you don't get your hands on it straight away you may never see it because in certain shops like B&M and Home Bargains and The Range and TK Maxx they don't always put everything online as well so you've got to be in the right place at the right time to get your hands on these things. The reason I've picked some up and the reason I wanted to show you is A because I know that they will sell out quickly but also B this is what I come here to chat to you about like I very much watch YouTube and I go onto Instagram to get inspiration and to be inspired and to spot things that people have found to think, oh my goodness, I wanna go out and find that. So hopefully by me sharing it with you, you might spot something that you really like and think, oh, I must go and pick that up for our house when we decorate for autumn. So yeah, I don't, I don't have to justify it at the end of the day, but I just wanted to justify that's why I'm showing you some autumn decor in July. <laughs> now there's a few bits over the last couple of days um, that I have picked up, which I'm very excited to show you. I've been into Dunelm and I've also been into the range. However, there's also some more bits that I've ordered online very recently, which haven't arrived just yet but um, I will potentially kind of do this video in a couple of segments so that when they do arrive early this week, then I can film another segment and tie that all into the haul so that I can kind of do one big haul for everything. So the first part I will show you is what I picked up from Dan Elm. Now this is not autumn related, <laughs> this is just normal home related. And there are a few bits that I got that I really wanted to show you. So thing number one, where should we start? Where shall we start? Thing number one is very similar to something that I already own. You will notice in the snug, I do already have the smaller version of this candlestick. But the reason I picked up this big one is because it was actually in the sale. So I think from memory, it was £26 down to £13. So basically it was half price. And that was enough for me to make the decision and just go ahead and get it. I do really like kind of styling them together. I've got them styled together on the windowsill, but equally it would be perfectly fine on its own. I need to obviously find another candle to go on the top of it, but I just really like the tone of it, the color of the wood, the kind of whitewash effect. You know, I'm all about that. 
and yeah I really like this so this was a good find if it's still on sale on the website then of course I will make sure to link it down below but there were quite a few of these left in the store still when I went into I guess it is my local one it's not I don't have a Dunelm super close to me anymore which is making me very sad because I love Dunelm and I miss Dunelm but I was in the area and I went to one that used to be local to me and yeah they had loads in there so you may well find that they're still there the next thing I picked up was a simple little basket which was £4. It's called the Maze Basket Small. <laughs> I just wanted, I mean you can never have too many baskets right, but in one of our bathrooms at the moment we don't seem to have anywhere to put toilet roll. <laughs> we don't, I'm guessing they used to have freestanding ones when the previous people lived here and obviously they took all of them with them so yeah we just don't have anywhere to put toilet roll. So in our family bathroom, which is through this wall that you can't see, um, there's kind of a little shelf that sits by the toilet and that's where we've just been putting the toilet roll. But I thought a cute little basket, this is basically the height of the toilet roll. So a cute little basket would just make it look a little bit more aesthetic without breaking the bank. So yeah, we've popped a toilet roll or two in here for now and it looks really sweet. They had a few sizes of this, but yeah, like the colour of it and it's just a cute little basket. This was £4 as well and I wanted to grab this for the guest bathroom because I've actually started using the guest shower. I don't know if I've told you but I've kind of been enjoying just using the guest shower because all of my clothes and all of my makeup and my hair stuff and everything is actually downstairs in the guest bedroom. That's where I'm storing it all. This is kind of my, my getting ready room. So I'm finding it kind of more practical to actually use the shower in the guest room because then I don't have to go up and down the stairs to like get half ready and then get ready down and then like carry on getting ready downstairs. And I'm kind of just enjoying having a walk-in shower. I think I did already tell you this. So yeah, I wanted to get one of these just because they do come in really handy to avoid any water stains and watermarks. And obviously it's a very aesthetic one being a cream and a light wood color. So speaking of the guest bathroom, there was one more thing that I also picked up. If I just pop that down there for a moment. The other thing that I picked up was this shelf. I can't remember if I've already showed you this because I kind of finished editing last week's video just as I started filming this one, so it may have had a bit of an overlap. But this shelf was in Dunelm on sale for £10, and I thought it kind of added a nice wood effect to the bathroom and added a lovely colour. It comes in very handy just for a hand towel and a body towel for when the guests stay. Now this bathroom did have, if I show you, this bathroom did actually have a toilet roll holder so I need to kind of move it over to over to the other side or just take it off and have a freestanding one here but yeah this is one of the other things that I bought. Next thing that we picked up is actually already on the floor down here in the hallway so I spotted online this gorgeous kind of jute runner um I think it's oh my gosh <laughs> I've disturbed a little ant go on hide under there um I think it's called the Blair jute runner and you can have it either side there's nothing kind of on the underside that would stop you from having it the other way around um, but yeah, I thought it was a really nice size and from the point that we moved in, I sort of knew that I wanted something a little bit more neutral here because the one that we had before, which is actually still here, excuse James in the garden, the one that we had before is kind of grey and white and it just didn't really match the theme. So I'm much more happy with this. It's a bit dark in here. That's probably the best light to show you. It's got a very, very subtle pattern on it, but... I really like it and I'm very pleased and I think from memory it was £35 so it's actually quite a reasonable price as well I think. So that was everything that I picked up from Dunelm. I will now move on to the range. Now if you really really are not an autumn person or you're just not an autumn person until autumn and you don't want to see it <laughs> then I will make sure to kind of chapter the section of this video so that if you want to skip past the autumn bit right now then that is totally fine you can come back and watch it a bit later so just to pre-warn you i'm about to show you some autumn decor <laughs> okay oh my gosh what do i show you first so firstly i'm gonna put a little video up on the screen that i captured over on my instagram of what i walked into when i stepped into the range because it was like stepping into heaven i was like oh my goodness i knew that they had 
just released their autumn range and that people would be running there. But when I walked in and I saw the display that they had, I was like, okay, this is the best the range autumn decor that I have ever seen. It was amazing. So what shall I show you first? I'll start off with something nice and simple. So they have a couple of different types of these wreath hangers for the door. That's probably easier if I move the label out of the way. I absolutely love the colour of this. It's the most gorgeous like brassy colour and I actually think it looks really expensive. They've got this one which has got a leaf on and then they've also got one which has got a pumpkin on as well. I could not decide but eventually I went for the leaf one because I thought as much as I'd love a pumpkin one, the leaf one will probably kind of stay on trend a little bit longer because it kind of signifies autumn rather than just Halloween kind of thing. So yeah, who knows? I might go back and get the pumpkin one. But I need to check my receipt actually to find out how much this was. So this was $6.99, which I didn't think was too bad. I thought that was quite reasonable. So yeah, that is the first thing I picked up. I can't believe I'm doing an autumn haul. Can you actually believe it? <laughs> Next is a stem. Now I got four of these. I spotted them kind of all bunched together and just the colour of them all, when you kind of put them all together, like how gorgeous is that colour? It is just the ultimate autumn colour. So I got four in total and the great thing about these is they're really long so you can have them in a floor vase, you can bend them and have them in a much shorter vase and they are so easy to manipulate. You can spread these out as wide as you want to spread them out. So I thought the vase that I've got at the moment upstairs on our bedside table, eventually when kind of mid-September comes around, these would be absolutely perfect to swap out for the cherry blossom stems that I've got in there at the moment. So by kind of spreading all of these out and putting them together, you are just going to have the most beautiful the most beautiful big autumn arrangement. I am absolutely obsessed with these. Now these were £2.99 each. So I spent £12 on them in total, pretty much, give or take. Officially called Golden Amber Flower Spray, should you want to search for them online, because I think they might be online. I'll, I'll have a look, but yeah, I absolutely love these. I think they were gorgeous. They had quite a lot of nice stems. I could have bought more, but I figured I would start off with these and not go too crazy. Um, but you never know, I might end up, I might end up going back in. Next, I got a couple of these absolutely adorable little pumpkin picks. Where I'm gonna put them, what I'm gonna do with them, I don't know. But I just think they're so cute. They're like a little knitted rattany sort of pumpkin. I mean, they will look quite nice in a bouquet, so what I could do is use a bouquet of an existing arrangement that I've already got in the house and just use these to make it look autumnal. So these were quite cheap actually, they were £1.49, so basically £1.50 each. So I spent £3 on these in total, who knows what I would do with them but they're just absolutely adorable. Then the final thing that I picked up, it was the last one that they had, so I thought okay it's a sign, I have to get it is a cushion so it says leaves are falling autumn is calling i absolutely love it it is just a plain color on the back with a beautifully textured kind of linen type fabric with an orange kind of a burnt orange trim around the outside but i thought this was lovely it would it, do you know what it could actually work with the snug sofa you know that could work. That could work. It had to come home with me. It was $8.99. So for a filled cushion, and it's quite well filled, it's not like it doesn't feel like really loose. You know how some of them feel like the inner is three sizes too small as opposed to the cushion cover. It's quite well filled. So for $8.99, I thought that was pretty reasonable. So yeah, this is my this is my favourite autumn purchase so far, but I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more. Home decor haul part two. Good morning. Well, actually, it is the afternoon now. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon. Now, as I said, this 
home deck or hall might be in a few different snippets when particular things arrive. So this is officially gonna be part two. <laughs> I was very surprised to see the postman turn up this morning for a Sunday. So that was amazing. Now I have two more kind of places of things to show you. I will start with Home Sense. I discovered a brand new Home Sense that I had never been to before. Um, and I'll be honest, I think it's the biggest Home Sense I've ever been in. So that's just amazing news. Just imagine what September to December is gonna be like. Can you even imagine? I'm gonna spend my life in there. So anyway, let me show you the first thing that I picked up from HomeSense. Item number one, exhibit A. I spotted this really pretty basket for 9.99, which I didn't think was too bad. And I don't know exactly where it's gonna go, but I figured there are so many places that it could be and I could put some guest items in here for when guests stay and keep this in the guest bedroom by the bedside table. I could put a cushion in and put it at the bottom of my console table. There's so many things that I could use this for. And I thought it was really pretty. Obviously I love like the, the jute woven detail, but I also thought that these white woven parts into the top of it and into the handles was really pretty. The next thing I picked up was really boring. <laughs> it was just a happy birthday bag for my brother who turns 21 this week, oh my gosh. Um, so I won't even go into the details of that. The next thing was in the clearance section. Now we have been needing a cutlery drawer organizer thingy mabobby since we moved in. Our cutlery drawer is like an absolute mess. And I spotted this one, it was 25 pounds down to seven, which I thought was a complete bargain. It's a really big size. It's got, if I show you on the picture, it's got six sections in it. So I'm hoping that it fits in the drawer. I think it should do. I actually think it's gonna be like the perfect fit in the drawer. So yeah, that was a nice bargain purchase and I really liked the wood effect of it. I thought it would look really lovely. The final thing is my absolute favorite thing. Let me just grab it off the stairs. How gorgeous are these? Now I spotted these online. I spotted them on one of my Instagram friends stories at home with Fran. If you don't already follow her, her house is absolutely stunning. Um, but I spotted these on her story and I also spotted them online on the TK Maxx website. And I thought, oh, they look quite nice. Now they're 30 pounds, but that is for a pack of two. So 15 pounds per cushion for a filled cushion. I did not think was too bad. And now that I've seen them in real life, I love them even more. Look at the texture of these cushions. I thought it was just gonna be a printed cushion, but I didn't realize that the pattern was actually embroidered onto the cushion. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm thinking I might pop these into the guest bedroom. At the moment I've got just white bedding and obviously the green cushion that you would have seen in last week's video that I bought at the flower show when I went to Blenheim Palace, I popped that onto the bed, but it's very much like white and then green, <laughs> like a dot of green on a very white looking bed. So I thought that these might look quite nice kind of next to each other. Whether they match the green cushion, I don't know, but I thought they would be a nice touch to the bed to kind of warm it up a little bit and they match the theme of the room. So I absolutely love these. It doesn't say what size they are, but I'm pretty sure they're 50 by 50. They feel like they're 50 by 50. So yeah, 29.99 for these and I'm in love. The final two things that I have to show you at the moment is from a small business and we all love a small business. So this is a business, you can find them on Instagram. Um, they're officially called Oh So Kel, as you can see here. This is the little note that comes with the parcel, but on Instagram, it's OSK underscore living, I believe. There's two different Instagram accounts here, but I'm pretty sure it's OSK living. Um, they do absolutely beautiful home decor and I saw that they had a sale. So I thought I'm gonna have a little bit of a browse and I found a couple of really pretty things for the kitchen. So the first thing that I picked up, I do have a vase that is very similar to this already, which you probably would have seen dotted around my house, especially if you follow my Instagram. I've got like a beautiful wildflower bouquet inside one, but I spotted this little pot and I think it was in the sale for like eight pounds or something crazy. And I had to have it. I just thought 
put up here on the kitchen shelves how lovely would that be i'm not even going to put anything in it for now i just think it's the most beautiful feature like look at this texture look at the pattern look at the colors I'm absolutely in love with it. It's so pretty. And then the second thing, second and final thing that I picked up, I thought this was really cute. The scissors obviously come out. I haven't unwrapped the string on here, but number one, it's very practical because quite often I need some string for like gardening and things, but I thought it was a really pretty feature. You can replace the string once you've finished with it. The scissors sit in the top and these kind of sat together on the kitchen shelving. I think it's just beautiful. I'm going to pop them up here. And I absolutely love them. I'll show you a bit of a close up as well. How lovely do they look? I think they look so gorgeous. This kind of area of the kitchen is quite dark during the day, um, which is why I was kind of talking about maybe putting some glass windows or glass doors through this part of the wall into the living room. But yeah, I'm really liking how the styling's looking, especially along the top at the moment. But they are most definitely my favourite pieces, that's for sure. How much better does this look? I mean, you didn't see the before, but I was incredibly embarrassed to show you the before. Let's just say there was a lot of other stuff in here and it was all over the drawer. Like you had to hunt for a teaspoon. It was just ridiculous. So it is officially the perfect fit. And there's a nice little space down the side for our straws and bottle opener and anything else that we might need. But yeah, it's perfect. I think it looks lovely. I really like the wood. I'm glad that I went for that rather than kind of a white one. So yeah, seven pounds if anyone's after a really nice cutlery organizer. Look at the weather right now. <laughs> it has been absolutely pouring down with rain. I have had words with James about allowing the sofa cushions to remain in the garden when it is pouring down with rain <laughs> um, because I was not expecting to come home and see them out in the garden but hey ho I suppose worse things have happened my plants down there I don't know if you can see down here they're drooping a little bit but I think they've just been a bit battered by the rain I'm sure they'll pick up um, and it looks like the foxgloves are doing okay which is good I have to be honest I have serious I have serious autumn vibes right now. I feel so cosy. I've put my cosy pyjamas on now that I'm home and I think I'm just gonna keep them on this evening. Who knows, maybe I'll even light a candle. Please excuse the state of me. I have been running out in the rain into Tesco and got absolutely soaked in about 30 seconds. So that was great. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed kind of more of a haul video um, and what I've picked up over the last few days. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.